Hey all and welcome back. We're going to try something new today. Um, not new in content. It's going to be portraiture, but it's, look at this process. It's crazy and we're just making big messes and looking at taking that idea of going big brush, big shape, simple, simple, no detail to the, to like it's, it's end point to the point where it almost doesn't make sense anymore because you're holding so firmly to those ideals. I want to do this because I wanted something. I just had this instinct for something new. I wanted to have this surface and complexity of texture that I wanted to build. And I thought this might be a good way to get at it. Um, but we'll see, you know, we'll see what happens. And my mentor, he always used to say, uh, every painting is an idea. And in my life, I've had a lot of bad ideas. I love that he used to say that, especially for as you know how fantastic of an artist is, is he is and was. Um, I this is one of those where you just don't know. I just got an idea about how I want to build up surface and texture using a lot of different brushwork, and and the lay-in's going to be just wild, and we'll see where it goes. Um, I got an email or, or a message. Uh, chat or whatever on Facebook from a guy that f found this YouTube channel and he had a mentor who was also wildly passionately influenced by Nikolai Feshin, the amazing Russian artist um, who lived in Taos for part of his career and formative part of his career and he was talking about the overlay the similarities of the the voice the the tone the focus the kind of teaching that I was passing on in these videos and, and so much of that comes from my mentor and his mentor had the same sort of approach and, and you know, without trying to paraphrase too much, it just was very meaningful because what we're all, what we're doing here, it, it, you know, sometimes I don't know if it matters. You know, I think I just love to paint and here's how I think about it. I think about it like this is that I'm going to paint either way, no matter what whether it's digital or traditional or if it's like a stick in the sand i'm going to be painting i'm going to be mark making i i just have to do it right and um it, it's like um it's like it's like this if i was if i loved cookies right and i i just made cookies all the time well i, I might as well share the cookies right because there's no way i can eat it all and um it would be sad to try so much better to share and and that's what brought me to YouTube to do this again. That's what brought me to um, that instinct. Is what brought me to um, to Instagram and to Google Plus initially when I was doing a bunch of teaching and, and sharing approaches to digital art that way. And that's how I found Art Rage. And that's how I found you know all the things I did was just this instinct to share. And um, that, that message from the gentleman on Facebook was incredibly meaningful to me. And I, I had no way to express to him how meaningful it was to me. And, and I think it's so cool because the, the whole thing, you know, like I've been painting professionally since I was 16. That was when I had my first show, you know, sold a painting and all that. And that's a long time. That's like 20 years. But last night when I was doing this painting, I had a discovery that was like, it was like, you know, f first month of painting kind of discovery. And with, with digital, it's so fun that you can still have those. That, that um, I've been painting digitally for seven years now, off and on. And, um, and doing it very seriously for the last few and it just is awesome so here's the thing when i'm painting in oils and i'm just lost in sort of that slipstream of creative magic you know where you just sort of don't know about time space or yourself you're just just you're just the paint right for me it manifests in a lot of funny ways one is that very often i'm like sloshing the saliva around in my mouth in the same cadence and rhythm of that I might be mixing the paint on the palette and applying it on the surface of the canvas and so on. And there's this sort of bodily connection to what's happening. And that happened for the first time with digital yesterday. And I was just, I was just painting and I was just in the zone. I didn't know anything about anything. I was just lost in it. And then I kind of pulled out of that experience for a second. I realized that I was doing that thing with my mouth and, um, and I sort of laughed, you know, I thought it, it happened, finally happened after all these years that I am getting to the point where I'm so comfortable and so at home in the media that that it's like I 
I don't have to have a, my brain turned on at all. I can just glide through it. And, um, and that's what I wanted to talk about today is that, you know, here's this awesome message from this guy. Here's this awesome experience of painting. And it really comes about slowly. You know, we, we paint and we paint and we paint and we work and we think, and it doesn't matter if we're in our studio or we're like taking a walk with our family or we're at a restaurant. We're always an artist and we're thinking about how would I mix that color or look at that composition or that designer. It's not even as, as overt or con- conscious as that. It's just, it's just a way of seeing and being and thinking about the interrelatedness of things and this sort of reflective process that, that we're, we are always with, that is always with us, that we're always working through. And, and what's so cool is that it gets better is that, you know, just like for someone that's living a reflective life, those awkward teenage years are tough because you're chewing on stuff that's way, way, way bigger than you are. And there's no way you have an answer to those questions. You just have to sit with them. And then you get into your twenties and it gets better because you get better at being you and you get calmer about your insecurities and you get a little more comfortable in your own skin and you know a little bit more about your voice and you know a little bit more about how you work and how things work and how your family works and how you 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 know how everything sort of fits and then your 30s are even better and i'm hopeful that the rest of the decades are better and better and better in that same regard like that there's just this progression and benefit of living a reflective life that it keeps paying dividends that yeah maybe my body will fall apart and hopefully my mind holds on and and all that as i get get to the end but i hope that my soul sits comfortably within my deeds and my and 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 the the sort of way i i, I swing my my brush or, or move my hand in, in the world gets more and more sort of like without mind, I guess. Like I'm trying to get at this idea that the more I paint, the more the painting becomes automatic. The more I, I, I'm alive, the more that the less I worry about things and the more I, I can confidently move in them. And that doesn't, you know, it doesn't mean I don't fail all the time or or have self-doubt or all those sorts of things. It just means that I've been trying to pay attention and that pays off. And it it does in painting. And having that discovery moment like I had with painting this this week was amazing. And it's, it's so exciting to like, to feel brand new in the medium, even though you've been at it for forever and um brand new in the sense that you're you're like truly learning things and the thing i was trying to learn here and the thing i was trying to go after here and the thing that sort of just like worked and that just just came to life was building a super complex surface where all of the edges all the values all the transitions in tone and temperature would, would come about with an amazing array of of texture and mark making so that if you were to zoom in close to the canvas or if you were to print it large and and walk and walk your eye from square inch to square inch to square inch there would be things to discover about the mark making throughout the whole canvas and that there would be this almost like layers of a voice that sort of over overlap and then complement each other similar to like layers and layers of glazing and underpainting and 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 the sketching would all sort of they all sort of show through the translucent sort of semi-transparent nature of oil paint i wanted to sort of create that with digital um and i felt like i was able to do that and and the the piece in in the end not in the middle but in the end did get there in the middle it was such a fight this was one of those that I went to bed wondering if I had forgotten how to draw. You know what I mean? Like I, w- I was in that slipstream of creative work and I was sloshing my saliva around and I was just in it and I was like in it body and soul. 
but it didn't really look like the model and it didn't really feel like the tone I was going for. And this picture was complicated because, you know, the, the lighting was a very strongly overcast day and, um, and, you know, huge and special thanks goes to Gideon Hunter, uh, an awesome photographer I found on Instagram and the model, um, that he used for this picture. They both are, are very inspiring to me. These people are awesome. And, um, they both give me the, the um, permission to, to create this picture. So I wanted to do them justice, do their work justice. Um, and that, that's saying a lot, right? Because this photo is beautiful to me that I'm working from. And I'll, I'll link it to it in the, in the description. And then the model has, is this got this amazing sort of presence about her and this, this sort of youthful face with this like, old soul kind of feel so this juxtaposition of a very um there's this somber quality that i was really picking up on i wanted to push even harder than is is present in the photo and and i wanted to show that but also not turn it into this weighty sort of like grizzled feel i wanted her to still feel very youthful and and very like vibrant and so it was it was complex um and all of that plus just the basics of like proportion and placement and stuff like that was, was sort of collapsing on me as I was working too late into the night and I was falling and I was like falling asleep on it. And, and it wasn't like I was in it, but it was also sort of not working. Um, so I had to go to sleep with it. So it really sort of in a poor spot. And, um, I woke up and it took me literally seven minutes to finish the painting once I had a clear eyes on it. And when I did all of that work, all those layers, all that complexity, all the mark making, all the, the depth and all the, the texture and the, the, the emotional content and the honoring the, the sort of the presence of the model with sort of the youth of the model and the, the kind of the whole thing. And then the color processing and, and tone that the photographer was going for, it all just came together in the proportions. And, and at the end of it, remembering that I had sort of just lost myself in it and then remembering my goals and seeing it all come to fruition and having some just true discoveries that were really new and then seeing the the way that you could go from square inch to square inch to square inch of the picture and see different ways that that texture was informing the transitions between value that mark making was informing the transitions between temperatures and seeing that huge variety of brushwork and vocabulary and the brushwork and the language of the of the piece and sort of it all come together in the synergy of that and the, the complexity of that complementary nature of that make it what it was um I, I knew i had to share and um and that sharing is what's been motivating me this whole time so i just wanted to get on do a quick video and just say thank you and here you can see the picture and it um it, f it feels good and i just wanted to share something that that came together i wanted to say thanks to the gentleman on facebook who wrote me that super poignant message about about his passion for art and and the voice of his mentor and how similar it was to my mentor and just and and say thank you to those of you guys who've been collaborating with me and and connecting with me the great comments that are inspiring other videos the the whole thing like this is why the internet works to me is that we can do stuff like this and we can connect and we can inspire each other and, and we can share our successes and we can share our struggles and in this one we definitely have both um and in the end though it all worked out so i just wanted to say thanks for checking it out thanks for being um subscribers and thanks for especially for the comments which are, are a great way of dialoguing, so thank you so much.